Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough, yet another 0.5 part, specifically 22.5, in that after you defeat Brutus here, there's a little something that unlocks back on over at the challenge hall. It is the second challenge cup that is guaranteed at this moment in time, so we should probably get along and uh, do that though. Um. Minor spoilers, I will go over the dialogue of all the characters to see and stuff like here. I notice that they all kind of like repeat every time you come here, so I don't have to actually show the dialogue now. I'm going to end up showing it later. So anyway, <laughs> what I think I'm going to do here is use that swift deck that I've been you know, kind of been using as the fighting deck. And I thought maybe I would try this bad boy of a deck throughout the second challenge cup. How does that sound? I think it sounds pretty fun. You're currently accepting new entrants for the GR Challenge Cup! Woo! Defeat three players in a row, and you'll win a wonderful card! And this card is guaranteed, it's Bill's PC. Well, Bill's computer. <laughs> you know what I mean! This cup's prize is a rare Bill's computer card. Matches are played using four prize cards. You lose once and you're out! We were our next challenger in this thrilling competition? Yeah, sure. Then please go off onto the stage. Here we are! <laughs> the GR Cup is well underway and new competitors are welcome to join. You survive well so far, Kevin. Can you keep it up? By the way, save as you go. You know, just between matches, just so that you don't lose. Just a reminder, anyway. <laughs> Our next challenger is here to find out. Let's meet your opponent. It's Mint, the renowned kid fighting valiantly against Team GR. Are you both ready? Place your four prize cars first. Now then, start the competition! Super effective there! Oh, he's from the uh, Psychic Club. I mean, he's not Psychic... Psychic Fort. <laughs> psychic Stronghold, I should say. Yeah, low resistance is a thing you'll see a little bit later on, but in the case of this, it's only minus 10 instead of 30, so that's how it's played. <laughs> so it's kind of kind of interesting that you can see players from later areas that you haven't been to yet. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go and... Uh, I think I should put out the Spiro, probably, and just kind of save the other Mankey for a traitor. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So, oh, not going first. Uh, Mop Shop, well, low resistance is in play, but it's still gonna be able to get through my uh, 10 resistance, so yeah. Well, once it gets two energy cards, I should say, see, it's got the punch and the kick. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to plop that on there and do a bill. I might actually trade for a Fero just to wipe out that Machop as quick as possible. Obviously, I can't evolve in my first turn, but... But... Yeah, so I'll just kind of <laughs> just attack as is and call it a turn just to see how things go. And because, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly if I want to trade for the Pharaoh just yet, that's why I didn't. I just want to be sure I know I have the right move and whatnot for the time. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right, so. <laughs> trade Mankey for. If it's in here. <laughs> for. <laughs> dark Pharaoh, there we go. Not just Pharaoh, the Dark Pharaoh. And we're gonna drill dive. Don't need to double damage that drill dive because it's enough to knock out the Machop, but I won't be able to attack or retreat on the next turn. However, it does mess him up quite a bit, so. <laughs> just messes up that turn order pretty nicely there. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the Machoke next because of low resistance anyway. So I might as well get that in play. And uh, yeah, call it a turn because I can't do anything. Um,. He'll, he'll be able to probably get something off on the Fearow. Probably possible. Well, actually, wait a second. Do you think he'll attack with the Super Sight if I double my Drill Dive damage? You know, like AI abuse? <laughs> or, do, or do you think I should just go? I probably should just go for the Drill Dive because I'm, I'm almost positive he'll attack just you know to knock out Dark Fearow for 50 damage Super Sight, but. <laughs> This is just a thought, so I'm gonna go for the drill dive. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it needs 40 more HP of damage, but Machoke should be able to cover for that. 
And yeah, there's a Super Sai right there anyway. So regardless, he's probably gonna go for that. Um, I don't think I should put out the Machoke in case I can't attack with it, because I don't know what I'm gonna draw. Okay, there we go. And mikey has got a free retreat cost, so <laughs> it's just a little, little double plan there. Karate Chop. It's like, if, if it didn't work out, then I have the uh, Mankey as like a one-turn wall, even though he'll get a prize card, but, you know, it's just a matter of I'm just going to make sure that my Machoke is in as good a shape as possible. And why am I not putting stuff on the bench? I'm <laughs> I'll just do that, and... Yep, wipe out the drowsy. So, yeah, I'll we'll cover this guy in more detail a little bit later on. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But for now, I'm gonna... <laughs> for now, I'm uh, probably end up wiping him out pretty quick. Uh, he's gonna go for... Yeah, the jab. That's actually... Well, I was gonna say maybe... I, was, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe they'll put a monkey wrench in the, the plans because... I don't have an energy card, and I can only do 30 with the Karate Chop, and he's going to knock down uh, my damage there. But if I get an energy card, I automatically win, so... Oh, you, oh you're trying to make me jealous, aren't you? <laughs> and special punch. So Macho cannot attack unless it has another energy card. Well, I mean, I guess it... Oh, there we go. Unless, I mean, yeah, it can attack, but Karate Chop will do zero damage, but Submission will do. And uh, it'll cause 20 to itself, which will be a double knockout, but I take the last prize card, so it doesn't much matter anyway. Voila! <laughs> now remember, save between matches just in case things go awry. And the winner is Mint! Mint, that's your first win! What bad luck, Kevin. Please try again in the next Challenge Cup. <laughs> Alright, we're all set for our next card battle! Next challenger, please come up on the stage! And meet our new challenger, Cassie, Lightning Girl. I would definitely like to change my deck. Actually, I'm not, but I just want to save <laughs> just in case things go badly. And now we go. <laughs> it is not ready. Let's start the match. Pikachu Zapper deck. <laughs> Only I don't need the freaking Pikachu to battle her this time. <laughs> Um, basically any fighting Pokemon will be pretty much fine, but avoid flying Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I'll go with this Mankey, have Hitmonchan as backup, and I, I guess I'll put one in, on there in case of free retreats, but I think I'm just going to end up trading it if, <laughs> if need be. <laughs> Alright, what prizes? I might just actually Professor Oak too, you know. Because I need an energy card, but we'll see how things go. And Eevee's probably gonna be attacking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gonna get the scratch damages in before I start my scratchages in. Whoops, I said my scratchages. Well, actually, wait a sec. That's right. That's right. It's this version of Mankey, which is two energy cards. Um, that does have a free retreats. So. I hate to discard the Macho, but I really, really like an energy card just to wipe out that Eevee, you know what I mean? Because I can retreat into something that can wipe it out, like, say, Monchan. Hello there, and jab. Now I should have looked at the rest of my hand, shouldn't I? Well, whatever. <laughs> Next turn will be fine. <laughs> I was just going for the aggro doom right there. And sand attack is... Possibly a factor, we shall see. I'm gonna continue powering up Hitmonchan anyway, because I might be, oops, I might be able to get that special punch in, and yeah, I definitely should play that bill, shouldn't I? <laughs> um Machop And jab. Two jabs will do. Aw. Or one special punch. That's that's why I'm powering up Hitmonchan, because chances are I'll get a heads flip one of these days. Although maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> with my luck. <laughs> Alright, plop that on there. Special punch. Heads please, heads please. Ow! <laughs> it's gonna be messing with me all over again, aren't ya? Aren't ya? <laughs> Alright, so... 40 damage. That Pikachu could be a bit of an issue <laughs> with the Thunderbolts. <laughs> 
I should probably get something going on the side, shouldn't I? Just in case that pops out and goes for a full damage. Uh, she might actually just switch into it and wipe out Hitmonchan. Just to... Ooh, that hit the Electabuzz could be, could be a bit of an issue. And... Uh, well... Well, we shall see. <laughs> Bill? I mean, sure, yeah, I got double damage on the Electabuzz, but that Electabuzz is still Electabuzz. Um... Wait, maybe I should go for the Dark Fero as, like, an alternate attacker. I mean, sure, it takes double damage, but it's, it's easy to do 40 with it, so... Just, like, a quick quick attack if need be. Come on, heads! Thank you! <laughs> Alright. I noticed that the animation for the uh, coin flips kind of gives away if it's going to flip heads based on the way that the coin is bouncing. But... You can't t actually tell what it's going to flip before you press the button, so... <laughs> anyway, it's going to take 20 damage to itself, and Hitmonchan is a KO'd. Plus power, plus Machop, maybe? It could be, it might be. Ooh, Professor Oak. Uh, yeah, it's definitely looking like a plus power Machop, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll just take on the Electabuzz, double damage plus 10, sure, why not? And there's another <laughs> The Electabuzz, they are unlimited! Uh, she doesn't have lightning energy, though. It's kind of interesting, unless uh, she she's saving it for a surprise attack. But I doubt that, because chances are she would want to do as, like the paralysis to Machop, so... Um... Let's go... Wait, wait, hold on a sec. I was gonna say, let's go for the Primate, but... Not not on that Mankey, it's, it's, it's kinda low on eight, or getting low on HP there, so... Let's <laughs> kinda nick away at Electabuzz here, one more attack will do, but she's gonna have to switch if she gets an energy card. Uh, oh, no, she doesn't have to. Uh, okay. So, now... Hold on a sec. That's... Should I...? Go for the win here? Because if I get two head flips on the Fury Swipes, I might just be able to win this! There's <laughs> one! Oh, 50 50! I knew it! As soon as I pressed the button with the coin flip animation! <laughs> well, I tried at least. Uh, so, no. wait, what? You're not. You definitely had the switch there. De or, or can oh, maybe you. Maybe it wouldn't be that useful to switch. Because you really only have the Pikachu, and yeah. I guess it wouldn't have mattered, huh? Alright, I just need one head. Thank you. <laughs> Any heads after this is just overkill. <laughs> Alright. Two wins out of three for this Challenge Cup, and we are close to Bill's computer. Woo! You better be careful if there are lightning Pokemon. Might zap her eyeballs with that the large stream of water coming from them, but anyway. Cups of weight on lies on the shoulders of the next challenger! Alright, let's see who it is. Will it be someone impossible to defeat? Probably not. Will this be the last battle for Mint? Oh, well, it technically is the last battle, no matter what. This is... <laughs> Perhaps the next challenger will stop the streak. Next challenger, please come on stage! Woo! The next challenger is here, it's Jess! And we would like to... yes. <laughs> we would like to... Save our game, actually, yes. And actually, I think Jess might be a bit of a tr bit of trouble for my deck, but we shall see. Because I can always ch switch decks if I should fail, so. Start the fateful third match! Powerful premonition deck! Oh wait, no, maybe maybe not, actually. Cause he Yeah, wait, no no, yeah, I was thinking of Ken who uses psychic Pokemon in his deck. You know, he has he's got that wide variety of critters, yeah, so... I think we are good then. <laughs> and... Four press cards, let's go! And... Sure, Bill. <laughs> why not? Yeah, why, do I, why was I thinking Ken for some reason? I don't know. Uh, double damage jab, sure, sure. If we can knock out that Meowth on the next turn. That would be kind of quick. <laughs> oh! He's gonna get a Pokemon. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> so much for a quick game. But he probably has the. Oh, what? Wait, why didn't you play? Oh no, no, he must. He just must have dro 
drawn Ponyta on his first turn. Like, he played Master Ball before the- yeah, okay. I was gonna say, why didn't he play Ponyta on his opening hand? And wait a second, did I- Ah, <sighs> I should've went for a plus power. Mm, I could've won that turn, well... It's too late now, I guess. Let's just jab. <laughs> I, just, I just thought about that. I, I think I moved a little bit too quick with my jab, because I could have potentially got that plus power and then game over on one turn, so... Alas. Alas, a missed opportunity. And I'm just gonna go jab and special punch for this Ponyta, because it's just out of range of two jabs here. So... that's why I'm powering- Oh, Sneaky, sneaky! <laughs> It's got the flame the pillars, but it's still within range of my uh, uh, special punch, so eh, eh, it should be okay. Uh, I won't, I won't Professor Oak just yet because I don't really have to at the moment. I'll just see what I draw on the next turn and then ooh, fighting energy, and then <laughs> and do what I need to do. Basically, that Magmar though it could cause a bunch of damage very quickly, but so can I. So. Uh, Blazing Fire could discard as many Fire Energy cards as like, but I wouldn't discard that many because you're you're kind of energy, rem yeah, <laughs> energy removing yourself. Um, it's, that, that's that's more like a finisher attack more than anything. I don't know, put put, whoops, put Prime Ape in play. Um, maybe I should put the other Mankey in. And uh, yeah, Special Punch, <laughs> I suppose. Just a case of a potion. I don't know this deck completely offhand after all. Anyway, and magma punch for the 4D. Yep, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> As I said, the magma could be a bit of an issue, but I've got primate. Primate. Anyway, <laughs> um, I don't think I need to use defender for, because yeah, those are not that powerful. And they don't have much energy, and well, I, I should. Well, I mean, they have zero energy, but I mean, for that blazing fire, the blazing fire will be able to do ten. But you now, chances are I'll get one head out of this. A <laughs> very low chance I'm not gonna get a head out of that. Twelve point five percent chance, and yeah. So, Harry Swipe seemed like a pretty safe bet, and hopefully I can finish him off this turn. Possibly, maybe. Uh, oh. You tease. Wait, 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 hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Plan. Maybe I should do that Professor Oak in the plus power idea. Ah, because I... Oh, I'm using you, Professor Oak. Because if I use the Tantrum, you know, it's 50 damage guaranteed, and then it would be 60 for that Magmar, yeah. And, yeah, I was, I was kind of wondering about that Ponyta, because the it has 50 HP, and I can guarantee Tantrum knock it out. But now they swapped into the Magmar. Um, might as well put Defender on that, as long as I'm a Professor Oak anyway. <laughs> Just dump out everything in my hand. Did I? No, I didn't have a... Did not have a uh, Machop. Alright, so, plus power for the win! Sure, sure. Here we go. The moment of truth! Oh. <laughs> you tease. You tease. Well, I probably shouldn't go for the Tantrum then. Because uh, then I could potentially confuse myself, so eh, I just nick away with 20 damage at the very least. I didn't expect to get two heads based on my horrendous luck, but eh, I'll take it. <laughs> He's gonna, gonna have to do a switcheroo here. Probably. Oh no, guess not. I was gonna say that because the switcheroo is. Uh, wait, actually, why did you even bother attacking with the defend? <laughs> Never mind. He was like, "Eh, this is my last shot. Maybe I can." Cheat, cheat the game. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Magmar 2 or 3 cost, never mind. Uh, I guess, uh, wouldn't really matter. So you're just like, eh, I'll just use it just because. <laughs> Put that on the bench just for fun. Put that on there just for fun and Tantrum just for fun. Actually, Tantrum's not just for fun. It's a guaranteed knockout because I don't have to worry about the rare chance of coin flips doing me in. Victory! Now give me that Bill's computer! Congratulations! Mint has emerged as a victor! What bad luck, Jess. Please try again next time. I'm gonna go back to cooking. May I finally announce the GR Cup's next... Uh, no, GR Cup's new champion, Mint! Here you go, Mint, your new Bill's computer card! Woo! 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 <laughs> 
can use that over at the GR Game Center. And uh, Mint once more, congratulations! Thank you, thank you. What do you have to say about this victory, receptionist lady? The Challenge Cup is now over. Please be patient for our next cup, the Coveted King Cup competition. Well, why did you change the subject on me? Anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I unblend myself from this bridge and head on over to the Psychic Stronghold.